Jake Paul called out Alex Pereira after the Mike Perry knockout because Jake knows that Alex is stuck in his UFC contract and the fight can't actually happen under boxing rules. Alex is one of the safest people to quote, call out because of this limitation and people saw right through this. I'm sure Jake was just trying to make headlines and was trolling the boxing slash MMA audience. He knows that people know that calling out Alex Pereira doesn't make any sense, so he said it to make fans irritated. Like a 4D chess maneuver for maximum attention. So the Jake Paul vs Alex Pereira fight is never going to happen. We know this, Jake Paul knows this, even if Dana White instantly released Alex and he wanted to fight Jake, it would still never go ahead. Jake Paul, now in 2024, still likes to stack the deck in his favor. He usually has the weight advantage, he has more size and also experience than his current opponents. I mean, that Mike Perry fight should have never happened in Jake Paul's career post Tommy Fury. The idea of Jake Paul picking fights with former MMA stars to begin with stemmed from the fact that he didn't have an amateur background whatsoever. He needed to find guys that were tough and had combat experience, but were also either past their prime, smaller than him, or didn't train in boxing full time to give himself a decent shot at winning. Tyron Woodley at the time was a great challenge for Jake. Same with Anderson Silva. It felt like every single time Jake fought, there was a progression with his opponents and people could actually follow along with the logic of the matchmaking. He went from fighting a YouTuber, a professional athlete, an MMA fighter with no hands, an MMA fighter with decent striking ability, to then eventually taking on an MMA fighter with actual boxing skill in Anderson Silva. After Anderson, he leveled up again and fought a professional boxer with the Tommy Fury fight. You see, what made Jake Paul fights interesting between 2021 to 2023 is that each time he stepped into the ring, he was charting out a course to eventually fight professional boxers. He was learning in real time with only a couple of years of boxing experience, so he couldn't go in there with pro boxers straight away. He needed to level the playing field a bit by fighting ex-MMA stars. The issue is that after the Tommy Fury fight, he went back to MMA fighters past their prime. Or he would fight retired boxers that are way out of their depth. All of the fights that Jake took on post Tommy Fury were not a challenge and there wasn't a clear progression. That's why Jake's career has kind of taken a tumble. After he lost to Tommy Fury, he regressed in terms of his opponent choice and fought Nate Diaz. Although the Jake Paul vs MMA storyline draws in a lot of eyeballs, at this point in Jake's career, him fighting Nate Diaz and now Mike Perry is not interesting to watch anymore. We know the outcome, we know what's going to happen, especially when Jake has all of the physical advantages. Not only is he taking MMA fighters out of their comfort zone by boxing them, but he's also weight bullying them and taking on way smaller guys. I'd argue that was acceptable at the beginning of his career because again, he was still inexperienced. But now in 2024, it's such a bad look, man. That brings us to Alex Pereira. If Alex was free and available, Jake would not take this fight because it's too much of a risk and make no mistake, Alex Pereira would knock Jake Paul out in a couple of rounds. Alex is not a welterweight who needs to balloon up to 200 pounds in order to fight Jake Paul. Alex is also not a wrestler who would be boxing for the first time against Jake. Alex Pereira is a natural light heavyweight fighter who has incredible striking ability. He has some of the most vicious hands in the UFC. He has knocked out guys bigger and stronger than Jake Paul. Alex would just touch Jake and he'll fold. I mean, it would actually be a really compelling fight and I'd want to see it. However, there's too much jeopardy. And if Alex cleaned out Jake in a round, then that would destroy the whole Jake Paul vs MMA feud he has built up. Jake Paul knows all this. Jake Paul was just calling Alex out because he knows people like me and you will talk about it and point out the flaws in the argument. He's a genius marketer for that reason. You think Jake Paul doesn't know that he's a weight bully? You think he doesn't recognize that he probably shouldn't call himself a real pro boxer until he starts regularly fighting pro boxers? He's super aware in that regard, and he strikes me as a guy who loves to get people going for the irony. He loves to troll, and on one hand, it's fucking hilarious the way he can rile people up by calling out Alex Pereira when he full well knows that fight can't happen. However, as someone who cares about the paying customer, I want Jake Paul and MVP to make better matchups instead of fighting bullshit opponents like Mike Perry and charging people 60 bucks.